1772, King Louis XV commissioned an amazing necklace for his mistress, Madame du Barre. There were 647 diamonds in it, 2,800 carats. Before the diamond necklace was finished, King Louis XV ended up dying. The jewelers were basically going bankrupt. They were stuck with a necklace that was the equivalent of $14 million. And there was this countess who was very shady. She had fallen out of favor with the royal family. All she wanted was to be a part of the palace at Versailles. There was also this minister named Louis René. At one point, he had slandered Marie Antoinette. The countess hired a prostitute to meet with the minister and pretend that she was the queen and asked him a question. Please give me the money for the necklace. We will pay you back and you will be in great graces at court. Then the woman took the money, bought the necklace, took the necklace apart, selling the diamonds. The minister never got his investment back. The queen was like, I was not involved. This brought to light this opulent lifestyle of the royal family. That is how a diamond necklace possibly started the French Revolution.